What's up guys, Lil here, and today I'm coming at you with a video on my Windwalker Monk. These are the talents I'm running right here. Um, I don't have too much gear, but my uh, Azeroid traits are pretty good. I have mostly open bomb strikes. I'm going to drop a port right here just in case we get knocked. We're actually going to try and knock this Warlock off. Please? Nope, not quite. going to freedom ourselves out right here. Pop a brew. Karma this uh, mage right here who's absolutely destroying us. And we're going to peel out. Back to our healers. Actually going to go on this Windwalker Monk, hit him with a touch of death into a Rising Sun Kick, Whirling Dragon Punch. We are uh, taking a lot of damage right here. Seems the Holy Paladin does not want to heal me. Eh, he gets a bop. How come their Windwalker gets a bop and I barely stay alive? Now, let's see here if we can get anything else done. No. We got wrecked. I don't think our healers were able to do too much. Let's see. Yeah, we had one healer do stuff, and then, like, I did the same healing as the rest of your, and I didn't even see if the other guy was still there. I feel like he was. Miss Weaver. Should be able to grab most everything off of that, though. Our entire team went lumber mill. We should be able to get farm soon, as long as they don't rotate down to stables. I would like some action. Looks like they are going to rotate some down to stables. Fortunately, it's that geared-ass fire mage. We're going to drop our port right here and see if they're going to come to us. Get sapped up by a rogue. Freedom myself out of that. Stand of the line right here. Get myself up. Now we get on this guy and hit him with a slow into a uh, images plus just a fury. We're not gonna do too much damage to this guy, unfortunately. That warlock is just cheesing us from behind. I'm actually gonna go on him instead. We're gonna pair him to a root, and we're gonna get horrified out. So we're gonna swap over to the monk who's just gonna beam away from us with this freaking blink. Luckily we have infinite mobility as well. Kick the Scorch just because why not. I'm gonna lock this, or I'm going to knock this lock in this next cast if need be. Press Karma into this guy right here, plus a Fist of Fury. Ooh, his Warlock's hurting him. Get back on the Warlock, hit him with the Rising Sun Kick, cool. kill the Sourcing Appendage. I'm gonna hit myself with the Diffuse Magic just so we don't die to everyone else. Shrink it out of that, press our Health Stone, and we are actually healing really well. There's a kick on the Greater Pyro, and this guy should go down. Press my Freedom. Flying Serpent Kick over him. Hit him with the Rising Sun Kick. Ignore the Tentacle and just take him out. Very nice. Windwalker is like super, super fluid. If you guys uh, are getting bored of any class and you haven't played Windwalker before, I totally recommend it. It has pretty much everything you would want in a melee. Mobility, healing, offensive and defensive cooldowns, uh, a mortal strike. It is, it is just like the perfect class. And the only reason I can't really seem to get into it too much is because, I don't know, it doesn't feel like wow, you know? It feels like like Dragon Ball Z plus Naruto plus Avatar plus like all, it, it feels like anime. And I love anime, don't get me wrong, but it's not, you know, the whole knights and mages shit. Also, I need to stop swearing in my videos just in general. Um, YouTube is doing some weird stuff with uh, their whole monetization policy again. I'm going to get out of here before I die. Probably going to go down anyway. Ooh, we got a Mistweaver on me. How nice. And knock this guy on a Fist of Fury. Unfortunately, while I was spamming my global for a fortifying brew, I got killed through my uh, Ring of Peace somehow. This guy hits me with the uh, the cocoon, but then has no follow-up. Feels bad, man. This defense is going to be rough, though. We're going to touch of death on their healer here. Hit him with the Rising Sun Kick into a Fist of Fury. Finish that off right before the... Uh, Touch of Death goes off with a Whirling Dragon Punch. Fortunately, it was still not enough. I'm going to uh, Fortifying Brew into a Karma on this... Warlock right here, and stun everyone else on me. Man, our healers just can't keep me up. Am I the only one being targeted or something? Your entire team goes on me. It's nuts. I have 2 million healing. What's our healers doing? Residue also has 2 million healing. Same with our Mistweaver. 
Our Holy Paladin has 3.8, but their Mistweaver has 6.1. Interesting. I always wonder, like, why people struggle with uh, with healing. Like, what, what makes them not heal? Is it, like, a lack of pressing GCDs efficiently? Is it, like, panic? It's, it's honestly probably panic. Drop a port in that room and, uh, hit all these guys here with a leg sweep into a... It's the Fury. Kill this Paladin pretty well. Man, that Destruction Warlock just instantly targets me down. I can hit myself with the Diffuse Magic because I have a tentacle on me from someone. Maybe it's just that Shadow Priest in the background. If I can make it to my port. The port inside. Oh god. Sorry, Paladin. You can have that room. Just gonna heal myself from the outside. Somehow we still have this. Our uh, Holy Paladin is up. Got my uh, port back there again, and we're gonna go on. We need, to, we need to get in on these casters down here. Pop my images into a freedom. We're gonna kick this guy in the fear. Go fist of fury. Leg sweep everyone right here. He has a spite on me, but little does he know, I really don't have any corruption on this guy. So I don't think it's gonna be doing much. I'm gonna brew into a karma on this guy's bolt. To a touch of death, fist of fury. Ah, I got stunned on it, unfortunately. We actually might hit- we might kill him with a touch of death, we'll see. Looks like we got him, very nice. A flying and serpent kick over here, root this mage, hit him with a whirling dragon punch into rising sun kick. That combo does so much damage and so satisfying to push. This of both these guys, hit him with the 90% slow, and that mage just ignores it and runs away with this cauterize. Fire Mage is like one of the last things that I haven't really played this expansion too much. I've played Arcane, I've played Frost, but I have not played Fire. And I really should, because I feel like next expansion, it's going to be pretty garbage. I really used to enjoy Fire and Mist of Pandaria when uh, you had Deep Freeze plus um, what's it, Alter Time. But to my understanding, Alter Time is not going to save debuffs like it used to. It's just going to be basically a, a temporal shield plus displacement combination. Really unfortunate, because that skill was like one of the most uh, versatile of mages kits. We're gonna hit this guy with the uh, images, Fist of Fury, Whirling, Whirling Dragon Punch combo. We're gonna Temporal Shield most of it. If I can double stun these guys, we, unfortunately the mage blinks and we only get the Paladin, but we can take the Paladin out right here with our big Windwalker punchy punch kicky kick damage. Hit this demon hunter with the roots. As soon as he uh, runs away, I'm gonna follow him with a freedom. Double roll into a fist of fury. Ooh, forget fist of fury. How about that? Baby Vegeta. I'm gonna use to watch Dragon Ball GT. Hit this guy with the images, and actually, we're gonna swap over to the monk right now. Everyone with a whirling dragon punch, except for the monk because he's fist of fury. I have a feeling that that mage is on me. I have an ignite on me. Let's see. I'm gonna stop the mage. Yes, he is. Of course he's targeting me. Why wouldn't he be? Not like I'm an undergeared monk or anything. Hit myself with the freedom. I am going to karma him right here. To a touch of death. Uh, what's this ability called? Reverse harm as well. With the leg sweep right before it uh, goes off on the greater. And he just heals so much somehow. Is that all just Temporal Shield? That's nuts. Diffuse Magic right here. Come on fire just because I'm taking a lot of damage from Hunter and I just need to stop any resources that I can. I'm gonna knock trap, or not knock trap, but knock back all these pets on me. And someone did come over and heal me, I think. Full health. Must have been a heal from someone. Hit him with a Paralyze into a Fist of Fury. That should be enough to take him down unless he blinks, of course. Lock him out on Scorch, and we're gonna go after this really annoying hunter who won't leave me alone, but is also doing no damage because he's BM. Uh, I lied, I lied. Mr. BM Hunter, please forgive me. I have no... I have no more cooldowns. But yeah, that BM Hunter was on me that entire time, and doing tickle damage, man. Windwalkers. Really fun class. 3.5 million healing. Let's actually check the breakdown for our healing right here. Where are we? That's in that current fight. Overall data. Touch of karma, reverse harm. 
Health stone. Burst harm is just such a good heal. 8% of my health or something? Yeah, 8%. Very good heal. 8% on a 10 second cooldown. It used to be much weaker when they had it back in the game, and I know it's going baseline, so I hope they don't nerf it too much. Our mage buddy's up here. Let's take him out. We hit him with the, uh, oh, he double blinked, so we're gonna have a flying serpent kick over, hit him with a slow into a rising sun kick, freed myself out into a reverse harm, kick him on the polymorph into a tiger punch, and I DC'd. I don't know if that's showing on the recording, but yeah, I just totally DC'd in that one spot. We got a spinning serpent or spinning crane kick proc. Take him out with that into a reverse harm and just spam my heals on myself. The team has been doing pretty good overall. We have uh, good rotations. Did lose lumber mill, but there is a red paladin right here. We hit him with a touch of death into images into rising sun kick fist of fury. He bubbles. Unlucky. So we're just gonna heal our teammates in the meantime. Viv flies out on the healer. He kicks me instead of the holy paladin who's right there. Very nice. I, I really can't decide if I like, you know, Windwalker or Unholy DK more or Shadow Priest or Elemental Shaman. Like, everything's so fun right now for me. Except for the classes that I used to main. Feels bad, man. I do miss uh, having fun on, on Red Paladin and, you know, Warrior. I did play some Fury uh, the other day and it did go pretty well. So I might I might pick it up again, but my Fury Warrior is pretty undergeared. Uh, I mean, so is my Windwalker Monk. Hit this guy with the Paralyze into a Root. He's going to trink it out of the Paralyze to a double blink. So I'm going to root him right here. He's going to root me. I'm going to uh, get my images out in one second. Hit him with the images. Leg sweep both of them into a Fist of Fury. I'm going to brew into a uh, Karma on this guy right here as well. Knock back the Ret Paladin right here. Take this guy out. Now we're on the ret. We're going to root him. Roll away from his wings. We're going to drop the port right here. He's going to come towards me. We're going to flying serpent kick towards him. So we have the port as a exit if we really need. His wings should almost be down, but we are... Uh, oh, we're getting spawned on. That's a little bit unlucky. I'm going to defuse magic out of this if I can, but nope. If I defuse, I could have ported. But unluckily, their entire team spawned on me. I was kind of hoping they were going to spawn an LM or something, but... Oh, I guess we got LM. Maybe Blacksmith? The game's going to be ending any minute now. We have uh, our Diffuse, so let's just continue bullying this mage. Oh, just kidding. My Warlock died. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm trolling. I hit Diffuse Magic and died instantly. They all get the farm. Maybe we have that uh, Rusted Jude on us to help. So, we have half as much healing as we do damage. Like, this class feels so good, especially because I only have 358k health. I, I really don't have that much gear. I can't imagine what it's like to have uh, versatility on this class. It's gonna feel nuts. Like, my versatility is at... I'm actually surprised. It's 21%. That's not too bad, but I don't think I have any corruptions. Yeah, I have Void Ritual on my belt. Uh, yeah, that's it. Why is my versatility so high? I guess I have verse on almost every piece of gear. I, it does feel pretty good. Except for my weapon. My offhand weapon's 425. Feels bad, man. Yeah, so not bad. Windwalk Monk, very fun class. I'm um, hoping to get some good corruption on this guy eventually. I did miss the versatil versatility amplification and the haste one last week. And uh, there has been no gushing wound yet. So we shall see how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next video.